Uh, I think uh, the men's side, you know, we we spent the last year or two kind of chugging away to get ourselves ready, and this was one of the first years we really started to lay everybody out and uh, kind of see what we had. And so uh, I think that starting with the indoor season, um, I think we finished fifth overall. Uh, we had a lot of really great individual performances. Um, you know, I can't go through everybody who yeah, exactly. you know, won, but. Um, <laughs> You know, I think that uh, finishing fifth, I think we were 15 points out of second place. So it was a really tight battle, kind of starting to prove that, you know, I think we can really compete in this conference. Um, and that really helped kind of set us up for the outdoor season uh, where, you know, I think uh, weather, you know, wasn't necessarily the best all the time. We had a kind of a funky <laughs> year with the weather, but, um, you know, we, we made the best of it and uh, we kind of chugged our way through and got to the point with the outdoor conference meet. And, you know, I think we competed incredibly well on the men's side. Um, we had a lot of really good things happen. We had some hiccups here and there, but we had other people kind of step up and give a, put us in a good position uh, to try and be as successful as we could. And we finished third overall, mm -hmm. which we were really happy about. Uh, we were only 25 points out of the win. Um, and we did still have a couple of fresh, or a couple of uh, kids redshirting that I think, you know, throw them into the mix and we're hopefully even closing that gap a little bit more. So all in all, I think, uh, I think we competed really well over the course of the year. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm really excited about where things are heading towards next year. I'm I mean, yeah, I mean, kind of in general on the recruiting end of things, um, I think this is going to be probably one of the best recruiting classes all in all that we've had, at least in my time of being here. Um, you know, the throws group has brought in another incredible group, uh, you know, to add to the incredible group they already have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my group, we've, we've added a couple of pieces that are really going to help take us to another level. And then, uh, you know, Bronco with the sprints and the jumps hurdles group, you know, I think is again, added some pieces um, that are really going to help kind of bolster what we're doing. And uh, we, we really tried to work on filling some of the gaps mm -hmm. um, that we maybe had and kind of filling some of those holes and, you know, getting things kind of built up even a little bit more. So really, really excited about where the potential of where they have on the men's side to go for next year. Yeah, um, you know, she had a lot of uh, uh, weekly honors and then having the indoor and outdoor West region honors is, is just huge. Um, it's unfortunate we can't go to nationals this year because uh, um, you know, she's ahead of the field by six or seven feet, um, and you never know what can happen to Nationals, yeah. but probably would have been a two-time National Champ this year. Mackenzie, I mean, obviously the, the accolades are incredible. I mean, the things she's done for this program are, I mean, insane. Um, you know, I, I sent her a message the other day just saying, you know, and I, hopefully this holds true, is I think Mackenzie Warren is the foundation of what we've done in the throws group and the throws group is what is the foundation of what we've done with this track group. Mm -hmm. And so in theory, I think Mackenzie Warren is basically the foundation of this entire track program. Um, you know, the standard that she's set for people to follow and the, the dedication and the desire of being, you know, to achieve at the level she's achieved at has really pushed and motivated the rest of the team. And I think that it'll be kind of the, I don't know if the benchmark's the right word, but will be the, well, the benchmark to try and achieve at least, um, you know, moving forward. And I know that, you know, obviously we're, <laughs> we're incredibly sad to, admit, to yeah. lose her, um, I'm ex but at the same time, I'm incredibly excited to watch her over the next few years as she really works towards 2020, seeing what she can accomplish there. For you guys. Yeah, no, it should be a great group. I mean, again, I mean, the names you just mentioned, Tori Johnson has won two conference titles out of four um, between indoor and outdoor. Um, you know, it really seems to show up and is, when it's needed and uh, at the biggest moments, and so, which is incredible. Christina McDonald, um, you know, huge, um, you know, can compete in pretty much everything, throws a shot, throws a jab, mm -hmm. throws a hammer, um, and competes at a really high level on all of them. So, I mean, those are going to be huge pieces for us uh, moving forward. You know, mm -hmm. Chase Stevens, who's a freshman, can do a lot of different things for us. Um, you know, she kind of is... Uh, the jack of all trades, I guess you could say, where she can fill in in the holes where we need anything. I mean, she can triple, she can long, she can high jump, she can hurdle, um, she can do whatever we need her to do. And so, you know, obviously we have a number of those people. Uh, we have uh, Emma Hill, who is redshirting, who her, what she jumped this year, um, 12, 15 in the triple jump would have won the conference title outdoors, um, at least on the day. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we're ex incredibly excited to add her back into the mix. Um, obviously the rest of our throws group, Tasha Willett, Jocelyn Tinsley, um, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing people, yeah. but uh, I apologize, but <laughs> you know, I, I'm incredibly excited about the foundation of where that group is all in all. Throws group, sprints, jumps, hurdles, distance, um, you know, Gabby Hobson uh, mm -hmm. just came up just short in the steeplechase for us from scoring. I think she's going to be a big factor both the cross country group next year and indoor outdoor, uh, kind of helping lead what we're doing. Um, 
incredibly excited about what's going on with them. Yeah, it was great. Um, all the way indoor and outdoor with all the uh, conference records that we had. Um, you know, all the top eight finishes and top three, all GNAC finishes. Um, and of course, highlighted by McKenzie breaking the all time uh, Division II indoor record. And uh, um, as of right now, she's second all time outdoors in the shots. So we'll see. She still has one more competition to try to break that. Yeah, um, Mackenzie and Christina were going back and forth in the in the women's uh, uh, GNAC all time record, um, with Mackenzie uh, obviously winning and breaking the record at conference. Uh, Tasha Willing, a freshman, coming in and going over 180 in the hammer, uh, which any other year, if Christina and Mackenzie are competing, yeah. that's that's a conference champ right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then she backed it up in the shot, having a top three ranking in the conference as well. Um, Christina, same thing, you know, got second place at, at conference in the shot um, and a top eight uh, performance in the jab. So yeah, just all around, just had so many great uh, moments. Uh, Rachel McKinnis, a senior, mm -hmm. um, placing at indoors and outdoor conference in shot and uh, hammer and weight indoors. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just, just pretty amazing on the women's side. Yeah, Kayla Bridge comes out um, and has uh, about a 10-foot PR in the shot from last <laughs> year um, and 20-foot uh, PR in the discus, breaks the conference record in the discus um, and, um, you know, wins, obviously, outdoor shot and disc. Um, Sam, who uh, won the indoor conference title, um, redshirted outdoors. And, uh, you know, Cyrus Villa and Brett Elder were huge contributors on that side as well. Even Desmond uh, Adams, yeah. you know, places in the discus and has a four meter PR on the season. Um, Joe coming in hammer and weight, you know, placing in both events in and out. Um, and, uh, you know, Jacob, once again, any other year that performance <laughs> wins conference, but he has his teammate and Caleb uh, pushing him, uh, but then also scores in the shot. Um, hammer for a freshman uh, in their first year throwing hammer uh, to throw 100, 175 feet, just amazing. And, uh, you know, narrowly missed getting a, a performance in the discus at 180 feet. Um, he was really close at the end there to, to doing that. Yeah, I mean, obviously all these freshmen guys and girls when I'll be sophomores, which <laughs> helps a lot, especially on the guys' side, they have to adapt all the heavier yeah. weights. Uh, we lose McKenzie. Um, but we get Melissa Osmond, who's been redshirting this year, um, who's better in the discus uh, and learning the shot, should be uh, in, um, you know, a position to win nationals in shot and disc uh, next year. And then, of course, we get Josh Cook back, who, uh, you know, holds the conference record in shot. Yeah. Um, he'll be going for a national championship in the shot mm -hmm. as well, along with Christina. Um, you know, and just all the girls that are there for hammer as well. Melissa will throw the hammer. Um, Kayla Bridge, you know, Jacob, they'll be going for a national title in the discus. So it's just pretty amazing. We're, we're going to have a lot of people that are either going for a national title mm -hmm. or placing All-American um, at the national meet. And I think that's a, that's a really good point. I mean, I think that us moving forward, I mean, the last two years have been basically building towards next year. Mm -hmm. You know, random red shirts and these kids trying to get ready. I think that, you know, us moving forward, we're putting ourselves in a position to try and get as many kids qualified to the national championships as possible. And I think we put ourselves in a position with some of those red shirts and different things to be able to do that. I mean, we want to be a team that can compete at the national level. And, you know, I think, again, I mean, I can't talk enough about the throws group and what they're doing to lead us along. But, um, you know, I think that we've got some incredibly talented kids in that group. We've also got some kids outside of that group that are really plugging along as well. You know, uh, James Phillips and Gino Brown and yeah. the multis. Um, you know, I think that next year we're, we're trying to see if we can get a four by four qualified <laughs> or, you know, a DMR qualified, you know, get some of these different things to to go along with, again, the Tasha's and the Christina's and the Jacob Chamberlain and Kayla Bridge and Josh mm -hmm. Cook and, you know, these kids that have really set the tone of what we're doing. Um, again, I keep saying excited. I think, yeah. you know, that's the theme of, of right now, at least, uh, you know, the, the upside for both genders looks really, really bright. And, you know, I think that with the foundation of the group that we have coming back and what they're going to do to lead this group into next year is going to be incredible.